Hi, today I'm going to do a uh, teardown and review of this Mastercraft multimeter here that I uh, I got as part of a set. It was uh, relatively inexpensive, so I'm not expecting a lot out of it. I know it uh, wasn't manufactured um, by Canadian Tire or specifically for them. It would be uh, manufactured by somebody else and simply rebranded. The probes here just have cheap stickers on them. Uh, and I mean, I can tell that that's just a sticker on the front there as well. So they, uh, you know, don't have a large number of these. The probes themselves seem, uh, you know, fairly good quality. Um, you know, I like they've got the little guards there to keep your your hand when you're probing, you know, your fingers from slipping down too close to the, uh, to the tip. Um... They are marked on the probe itself. They claim to be category two at a uh, thousand volts. The meter itself, however, is marked category two at three hundred volts. So it's not not a high high voltage meter. It's got the proper uh, sheathed banana plugs, and the wire itself actually feels not bad. It's you know nice and and flexible in that. Fairly soft, so it's not not that bad. The meter itself is, uh, well, it's very small. You know, it fits in my hand. And uh, it's got this nice little rubber bumper on it here, if I can pry it off. And uh, yeah, so really at the back here, it looks like it's just a couple screws to hold it in. And uh, there we go. Now that it's uh, with that uh, rubber off, I can see here it's rebranded uh, Intertech. Uh, is who uh, made the thing and it's got e the uh, ETL certification on it not uh, really familiar with the ETL uh, and exactly what that is but I know it's a new certification that's uh, supposed to be more universally accepted than uh, something like UL or CSA approval so it's uh, it's accepted uh, more throughout the uh, around the world than than UL is so it's a new new certification to sort of replace that and that's it that's all that was holding it together with the two screws which uh, and a bit of a clip at the front which I mean is more than adequate for the size of the thing so you noticed when I uh, when I take it apart here you'll see that there's this uh, little lip here that fits right inside so it does have uh, you know, a blast proof case there. Um, you know, the idea is that if you have the unit in your hand and something goes wrong, you short it out and it blows the meter up, that you don't have that, uh, that heat and that venting out through the side into your hand. So it is a properly uh, designed case. Now, as, as expected, uh, there's no isolation slots anywhere on this thing. It does have a fuse. Uh, it looks like the one with the ceramic. It's not one of the big explosion proof fuses. So I mean it'd be and it does only have two two input jacks here. It's got the one uh, the one jack for both the volts and the uh, the milliamp settings. So not particularly uh, uh, great there because that's that's when you're going to go and blow it up is if you accidentally put it on the uh, milliamp range. Um, of course with the the plugs I find I sometimes go and plug it in and then I turn it back to volts and I forget to change the jack so I've shorted them out the other way too. So there's arguments both ways. But taking a, a quick look at this uh, I only see a couple of diodes in there two PTCs and the uh, and the fuse so there's not not a lot in there for uh, input protection which I didn't really expect out of a cheap meter and especially not out of something that's uh, you know only uh, only costs a few dollars uh, I'm sure to manufacture uh, it has to be when they're selling it in a kit on sale for fifteen dollars so there's not a lot to see. The other side it'll be just the range switch. 
Uh, so there's no point in taking the board right out. The uh, as with all your cheap multimeters now, there's everything is contained in one chip. There you got your uh, your ADC, and uh, it'll contain the LCD uh, driver uh, as well integrated into it. So there's not a lot in there, not much. There is a bit of input protection. This is uh, a lot better as I keep lifting up out of shot here. Um, it's a lot better than, let's say, those DT803, I believe they are, uh, meters that you can find on eBay for around three, four dollars. Uh, those are just kind of want to say they're garbage, but I don't know if I'd say necessarily they're they're trash. They're they're not safe um, for use on on uh, you know any high power applications. That's for sure. Uh, they're I haven't tested them out myself for accuracy, but I have read reviews that other people have done in their testing. And the accuracy apparently is not actually all that bad, uh, considering you're paying, you know, less than $5 for them. And uh, they're okay if you're doing things like battery-powered projects and stuff. But uh, definitely not worth risking your, your life using one. Uh, to measure any sort of high power applications and uh, I don't think I would use one of them on even uh, measuring automotive stuff and I I don't know about this guy I might might not um, simply because you know automotive you do have that possibility of having very high current coming out of that battery if you short the meter out and uh, I mean uh, I guess there's not a lot of voltage uh, you know, because it's low voltage, you're not going to get a huge arc, but still not the greatest, uh, the greatest things to be using. This guy, maybe not so bad, but, uh, I'll have to take a look around. I do have one of the, uh, those cheap eBay meters around here somewhere to rip apart and that'll be a, a future video. So that was all for this one. It's just a quick, uh, quick tear down and I guess a bit of a review in a way but uh, yeah that's it for this so till next time